the honorable member from Caribou Prince George. Uh, thank you, thank you uh, Mr. Speaker. It's funny when uh, uh, the NDP stand up and talk about uh, all these things that they, they say that they've done. They, they failed to, to mention that uh, for four and a half years or five years, as long as uh, that uh, agreement was in place, they propped up this, this government. They were complicit with all the corruption and scandal that we're seeing here. But that's, but that's besides the point, Mr. Speaker. That's as the heckles come from the NDP. They're obviously very, very worried about their own positions. Um, um, Mr. Speaker, through you, I'd like to ask our honourable colleague, what we're talking about here is essentially the, the theft or the misappropriation of about $400 million of Canadian taxpayer fund, uh, funds uh, that went to uh, a green slush fund that were, was loaded with Liberal cronies, a Liberal chair, um, that themselves got rich off of. And, and the Auditor General found 186 conflicts of interest with this. The whistleblower found, indeed, that there might be uh, some criminality, or criminality there. Uh, the Liberals like to say, well, the RCMP don't want to see these documents. Well, they, they don't know what's in these documents. Nobody does, because it's all been redacted. So through you, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to ask that if somebody stole something from this member, would he go to a committee or would he go to the RCMP? Because essentially what we're talking about is the theft of Canadian taxpayer funds. The Honourable Member from Langley Aldergrove. Good, uh, yeah, my, my colleague makes a great point. Uh, indeed, this is theft. Uh, we're not, it's not just us who's saying it. It's, it's the uh, independent auditor uh, who has said it. It's the privacy, uh, sorry, the conflict of interest commissioner who uh, has raised deep, deep concerns about this. Uh, and indeed, we as the opposition would not be doing our job if we were not holding the government to account on this, uh, what looks like uh, scandalous behavior, probably criminal behavior. Uh, we need to get to the bottom of this. And we, I just wish that the Liberal side of the House would work with us to get to the bottom of this. They say that they don't like corruption either. Well, well, work with us and let's have a look at what these documents say. Give it to the RCB, let them decide how to prosecute. Exactly. Thank you. The, uh, regrettably, we've uh, pretty much come to the end of uh, uh, questions and answers. Unless there was a, somebody wants to ask a 10 second question and get a 10 second answer. The Honourable Member from Caribou, Prince George. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And through you, Mr. Speaker, I just want to give uh, our Honourable Colleague just one brief more uh, opportunity to talk about the, the scandalous nature of this government. Thank you. Member. Very scandalous. <laughs> well, I can tell you that we're all getting very tired of it, and uh, I see that uh, member from uh, Bruce Gray Owen Sound is gone, but, uh, you know, he had many quotes from many constituents who are sick and tired of the corruption from this government. In my writing, same thing. I thank the Honourable Member for keeping his answer brief.